Tav Av is the ninth day of the of the month of Av, which roughly corresponds to August. Roughly corresponds to August. It is a solemn day in the liturgical calendar of Judaism because both the first temple and the second temple were destroyed on that particular day, the Shabbat Av. Both the first and the second temple were destroyed on that particular day, okay? Uh, first by the Babylonians, second by the Romans, but the same exact day. It's a day of mourning, fasting, grief, and so forth. Some sages, some ancient rabbis, speculated that the Messiah would be born then. Well, you have to understand something. That speculation is post-Yeshua. They did not begin to say that until after the Messiah had already been born. Now, there is no proof Yeshua was born to Shabbat. There's no proof what day he was born. There have been different theories. Some have speculated the Feast of Tabernacles and so forth, but nobody really can conclusively prove it. I can't say it was not to Shabbat, but there's no proof that it was at the present time. What we do know is the rabbis who said that, and not all rabbis said it, but they said it after the time of Jesus, after the Messiah had already been born. So what's the merit? That is essentially the situation, and that is what the Shabbat is. In the Shabbat, what is ritually read in the synagogue to this day is the Megillah Eha, the Book of Lamentations the Book of Lamentations, which commemorates the destruction of Jerusalem and its temple, and Jeremiah's lament over it. Um, that's what is, is read. That is a, a much more ancient tradition. It was also adopted into early Roman Catholic monasticism, where on Easter, Gregorian chants would, would, would read from the Latin Vulgate, and they would sing the Book of, of Lamentations from the Vulgate in Latin. Uh, again, Rabbinic Judaism, Talmudic Judaism, is not scriptural Judaism. They began inventing these things after they had already rejected the true Messiah. Um, so he was already born and come anyway. What value does their speculation about when he would be born have in light of the fact that he'd already come? That's essentially what it amounts to. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book, 
And the final and latest one, Parpezzo, Parpezzo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.